Chief in ten. Hello, mate. Go for track one. About to uh, kick this underway. The uh, the Adder ladies in their, their last one up against North Brisbane. Yeah, the home crowd's really excited to see Adelaide come up here to the bronze finals. There's been a lot of great derby this weekend. And um, pretty excited sitting here in front of the bronze final. We, and I got to say, we got absolutely thumped. Uh, I'll face up to it. Uh, yeah. Yesterday by Victoria, it wasn't even a subtle loss. It was big thumping. Yeah, it hurt. It <laughs> hurt, mate. That's all right. That well, look, Thomas Edison made said he learned more from the 385 light bulbs that didn't work than the one that did. So it only proved to make Adelaide even stronger. I'm sure. Oh, chief, couldn't have said it better, mate. So yeah, we got something to prove. Yeah, well, it's going to be great to see this bronze final because Adelaide's going to come back off that loss, wanting to punish these North Brisbane girls, but North Brisbane are pretty tough. Oh, they've been skating beautifully all weekend. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a cracker, I reckon. Uh, the uh, last last bout that just happened on track one was insane. It was absolutely electric of what I hear. I was over uh, commentating Gold City, but I came over here and everything was, everyone was standing on their feet and the game had already finished. It was it was pretty exciting from what I hear. It, yeah, it got down to a draw and then uh, just that last one. Star passes. It was insane. Extra time. You could, like, if you were writing, if you were writing, like, just to make it the most dramatic, you couldn't have picked that. It was, it was, it was more full on than anything I've ever seen. Definitely what you want here at uh, TGSS. People were crying afterwards. People were hugging. Lady Gaga was playing. It was all <laughs> happening, mate. Well, you know what? If you missed that live telecast, I think it's 25 oh, bucks a year, is that for DNN? Yeah, I believe so. Johnny Pistol, and I see a pile of red. On the left. Yeah, if any needs to go by against uh, Adelaide versus VRDL, oh, really? I was oh, pretty impressed. Oh, okay. Amazing, uh, we don't do paywalls. All right. Uh, so really, yeah. just uh, once you become a member, you can access the archives. And it's a contribution, but uh, definitely no charge. The glory of DNN. We are right next to the speakers here, so... Uh, please forgive us if we get a bit confused because there's live telecasting going on in this game as well as the online. We've got no idea who we're talking to, who we're cutting off. Yeah. Apologies in advance, Chief in 10. Yeah, thanks. Well, let's look. You know, these things happen. It's a bit of a mad, mad world, so you just got to sort of take as it comes. Exactly. Bit of a conference going on here by some captains and the refs on the track. Just straight off the bat, just getting involved. I must admit, I really enjoyed how quick these games have been in and out. It's, it's only five minutes after the game before that you're ready to jump into the next one, and great minds. it's great. Trim alike. I, it did go a little bit extra. There was a lot of a lot of uh, discussion. Yep. True. When uh, when it was when the scores were level, so. Uh, uh, well, look, when, when the scores are that close, everyone wants to make sure that the right moves are made. TGSS 2012. Quite a, quite a big crowd, I've got to say. I don't know. Uh, yep. I don't know if you can get any. If, if, I think yeah, in looking at it at home, some of the uh, some of the Adelaide this. fan club, they that are um, hard. I want to give it out to the all devils, the little super hard to bring yeah. the devil hats. There is a, a massive support for the Adelaide Adelaide team shout. here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's a lot of red horns in the audience. A lot of coverage of this event. In fact, I think it's the biggest GNN. I think we're just getting our own little special shout out now. That's why we went quiet because we heard ourselves being talked about and just felt quite privileged. Everyone hears their name when it's called out at the Derby. They won't hear anything else except for their name. So, you know, just the way of the Derby. That's right, Johnny. If I don't like the way you talk about my girls, you know where you're going to end up. Oh, yeah, I know. I've got my so it looks like they're uh, the, the umpire's trying to get the commentators to stop talking so he can start the bout. <laughs> <laughs> I think a penalty's gone out there to the commentators. <laughs> That's our first warning. First warning. Okay, so uh, lining up for Adelaide, we've got number nine. We've got Kit Kat Crunch, a very fierce skater. Who is uh, who's the North Brisbane? Going for a mosh pit start here. We've got number 41 for North Brisbane as the jammer. Little G unit. She looks fierce. Little G unit. Drop knee, mosh start for the uh, the Brizzy girls. Straight the back. We're seeing a lot of that tactic happen here at the Derby. But it is, it's the Adelaide is, it's a Kit Kat crunch through with Leah Jammer position. Adelaide takes the uh, front of the pack. Our little G unit. 
making her way. I've got to say, there's been some well. solid blocking going on as well this whole weekend. Uh, I'm absolutely yeah. astonished yeah. by the level of gameplay yeah. at this TGSS. Yeah, no, no, Everyone's no, bought no, their absolute A game. It's stepped up a, a lot since the last one as well, just in terms of strategy, everything. Oh, yeah. It's like a whole different game this time around. I mean, everyone's just picked it up like tenfold from two years ago. So a lot of new good teams coming through. It's a really great thing for Derby Australia. Okay, so we've got lining up now. Number 24 from Allied Fury. Delfina up against number 505 from the North and Brisbane Rollers. Uh, interesting turn of events there. Yeah, North Brisbane actually came out with more points on there after not having Lee Jammer. So great conversion on that uh, last jam. And there is a no-pack situation call again. The jammers are straight off the line. Some Adelaide blockers just checking the floor for any mines or any... But Argy Bargy at the front of the pack. North Brisbane getting pushed right at the back. Adelaide trying to push their way through. Great blocking by North Brisbane. Solid set of arms on her as well. Absolutely and she's through. Um, well, Lead jam of position for Fury from Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we've lost, we've lost the jammer from uh, Northern Brisbane, so it's a power jam. So. Uh, don't know how we missed that, but there is only one jammer on the track right now, and that's Adelaide. They're going to be happy about this position right at the start. Blockers look nice and thick though. She's taking the outside track. Oh! Big hit knocks her out. That, oh, she fell down, so no cut track ball. She hits the floor on Fury Fenrir rounds turn one. Adelaide lead jammer. One of the only successful scores against the Okay, Adelaide's got one of their blockers back now. Adelaide yesterday had a lot of trouble with uh, keeping their blockers on the uh, on the track and off of the penalty, like out of the penalty box. All right. She's going to be sent for an illegal procedure there. And this is... Oh, I lost another one of the uh, North Brisbane blockers. That's a grand slam for Adelaide for Fury. It's a really good start for the girls. Lining the pack up to make another pass. Oh, as the uh, North Brisbane jammer gets in and just absolutely cops it. Sweet by Adelaide. Copping it, sweet. That's what's <laughs> allowed to hear. Adelaide comes back in to reset, so she's not cutting track, making more and more points for Adelaide here. Meanwhile, this jammer from Northern Brisbane is just not having a good time. Has she even made her first pass yet? Brandy snaps. Not sh uh, no, she's not lead jammer. Not too sure if she's made that first initial pass, but Adelaide's still raking in the points, pulling it off. And she's pretty that chuffed is, about it as well. They've got to be happy with that uh, score there. 20 to 4. This is looking much better. So now we've got uh, number 88 for Adelaide, the Philistine. Up against number 8 from uh, Northern Brisbane. Oh, no, not Annabelle Annabel Lecter. Annabelle Lecter. That's a good pun. That's a good pun, mate. Up against the captain. Ah, oh, this is the captain. Oh, hello. Captain, captain Jammer has always got that little bit extra, a little bit of more strategy. It's, yeah, you know, it's almost like when it's, uh, you know, you've got your coach captain in football and stuff. Yeah. A little bit. And North Brisbane Rollers lead jamming situation. It's pretty close though. Philistine chasing pretty hard. About a quarter of a track in it. Right on her heels. They're probably going to want to come in there, take some quick points and call it. But, uh, oh, this pack is just looking... Hey, quick that pack. Well, Brisbane gets in, pulls it off. Didn't even touch the sides. That was awesome. Slip through. Nothing but net. Bang in the ovaries and it's over. That's exactly right. Wonderful derby by the Northern Brisbane captain. Blue Renegade lining up for the Adelaide. So we've got 288 for Adelaide, the Blue Renegade up against Trauma Junkie, number 42 from Northern Brisbane. Yeah. A bit of dancing going on there by 2880 from Adelaide. She's got her own song. Uh, Adelaide is the fan club are uh, joining in. It's, oh, it's good to hear. I think it's, it's raining Wren. No <laughs> uh, Still out here, look at that! Dream saves the front. Listen to that crowd. They are loving this action here. Adelaide 21 to 8. Lee Jammer lining up the back of the pack. North Brisbane throw but about half a track behind. But no Brisbane up very fast skater, so I wouldn't be surprised if Adelaide takes these quick points and tries to call it off. Big way away. Get a pack of awareness calling it off. Oh. Have we got some points? Adelaide has absolutely just laid out the uh, 
the North points. Brisbane Jammer. Oh, yeah. Big wall of red. Scary. Okay, we got Kit Kat Crunch, number nine from Adelaide, lining up against uh, seven, eight, two. Seven, eight, two. Okay. It was uh, Tiger Tantrum. Tiger Tantrum, a couple of tantrums over in some of these teams. So, uh, <laughs> if you're around the traps, yeah. just uh, watch out for people losing their themselves. stuff. There, there has been a little bit of uh, yeah. anti action happening, I've got to say. Number 38, Bone Shaker, looking for something on the floor. Yeah, I've got to apologise to some of the viewers back at home if I end up sounding like Jump Truck. It's only because we've been commentating all weekend. Kick out Crunch being sent to the penalty box, so this is a really good chance for Tiger Tantrum. She's through. And she calls it. Calling the jam up. I'm not too sure if she knew that the jammer was in the bin there, but um, she's going to give her next jammer. Maybe trying to save it for, uh, for the next one. Brandy Snaps, number 505 from Northern Brisbane. Yeah. She looks like she's got a bit of speed on her. Yeah, she saw that. I haven't seen her play before, but um, I've got a feeling that this uh, North Brisbane roller girl is going to fly out of the stops there and put some points on the board for Brisbane. Very busy penalty box, only uh, three blockers each on the track. Oh, jammed in there on the jammer line, as we're used to seeing now, sneaking around the outside. How quick is she? She's too quick for that front blocker. Pretty much exactly the same thing. Just cops at track, uh, the, uh, the pack reforming. Throwing that down to a veritable stop. Here she comes, she spins around, she's taking this strategically, which is way better way to go than slamming her way in there. Doesn't seem to be working too well, right? She oh, there we go. Oh. Doesn't want to re-engage unless she wants to get sent out. Pax reforming Adelaide, getting the uh, Adelaide, Adelaide blockers calling Blue Renegade back as they form the wall. Looking for an opening, doesn't want to fly through. Oh, Adelaide blockers really bring her. Brisbane take another five points to the board. Big points for the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Kit Kat Crunch for the Adelaide. He's uh, standing up now. She's ready to fly back onto that track as soon as she's given the all clear. Looks like all of the blockers and the jammer. So Kit Kat's off. She's away. Let's see the, uh, the North Brisbane girls are ready for her. And North yeah, Brisbane Rollers going to be wanting to pay, pay attention to that pack and see if that other jammer gets through there. And there she goes. Adelaide through on the first pass. North Brisbane probably going to try and take a few points and then call it off, getting the uh, all clear from the bench coach. Another lap asked for and given. Hidden in, calling it. No, she's not. She's she hasn't seen him. him. She hasn't seen him. The umpire. Calling off the jam, the number four, Kit Kat Crunch, could bag a quick four points. Nice, cheeky points there. So we're on uh, 26 for the Adelaide's and the uh, NBA on 23. Really close bout. We're seeing a lot of really close matches this uh, TGSL. So many now, brothers. Especially today as, it, uh, as we start to get to that finals end of things. We've got the Philistine, number 88 uh, from Adelaide up against Trauma Junkie, number 42 from NBA. Number 42 for NBA's Trauma Junkie. Adelaide dropping a knee a bit further away. Yeah. Spreading it out a bit, mate. Yeah, right? exactly, you know, giving people more things to look at. <laughs> that's, that's how we roll. That's <laughs> yeah, so how we don't roll in this case. Yeah, yeah that's how we drop to a knee and just make it start early. Yeah. Oh! Just a huge crowd pulls out. She's got her focus face on as well, mate. Can you oh, see yeah. it? It's just... She's so focused. <laughs> Meanwhile, there we go, NBA, Jammer, sitting in the box. I'm not going to be happy about that. What if your bouts, especially this weekend, have been lost and won in the penalty box? Oh, with the pressure that's on these girls, they're just trying their very best to attack that pack. And uh, sometimes that results in a jammer in the penalty box. It's a really good chance for Adelaide to make some uh, some really good points here. The uh, crowd getting behind her. Oh, yeah. Look, I often wonder in these scenarios how much a difference a crowd makes, but you can see that the Adelaide girls cheered on by the lovely support of the Adelaide, and um, it's really good to see. So Hit from the uh, NBR blocker there. Philistine goes down but pops nice back up nice and quick and calls it. Yeah. That looked like it hurt. Hey, so did. That's going to leave a mark to yeah, It sure is. Yeah, so this morning I discovered that um, I somehow had a voice a little bit like Dump Truck, so I made up an alter ego. It's called um, Forrest Dump Truck. Oh, 
So I had a contract yeah, somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. look, I do apologize, but um, I, I just can't help myself, you know what I mean? I've been, been yelling at so many goddamn matches this match. It's because you're up at, you, were, you were working with Mr. W, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Texan thing, I understand, we'll do it. Fury, number 24 for Adelaide, the uh, only jammer at the moment. And she is through. Meanwhile, uh, the Northern Brisbane jammer is standing up, she's almost ready to go. Yeah, exactly, she's just ready to spring off the line. Yeah. Really force the Adelaide is definitely North dominating the lead jammer situations, and um, it's not showing massively on the scoreboard, but uh, they've definitely got the, the majority of the lead jammers today. Good blocking from these Northern Brisbane uh, blockers. Held up as long as they could, but Fury's through. And there we go, number 42 for the Northern Brisbane team. Skates through, barely touch the sides. Yeah, we have one blocker. Both jammers on the track now. Adelaide's going to want to keep an eye on the back of that North Brisbane girl because here comes oh! the Chiefs. Northern Brisbane jammer has just taken out most of her blockers. <laughs> not the best method I've seen. No, no, definitely not a tactic. I'm sure they practice. <laughs> Especially not with a kick. That's what you want. Do you know what I mean? Don't want to be charging in nah. walls of thunder. But sometimes these things happen and it doesn't go according to plan. It's definitely a bad uh, improvisation. <laughs> and, uh, so we've got a little junior unit from Northern Brisbane up against Kit Kat Crunch, who has been uh, going, uh, she's done quite a few jams so far. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's been having a break at all, regardless of her name. And um, <laughs> she's straight back up here. Just sorting out the, sorting out the laces. <laughs> She should have some Velcro going on. Their lace is just getting away. Oh, pushing her out on the inside. Great work. Jumps back oh. in, though. That's interesting. Nothing seemed to happen. No call. She's not Lee Jammer. She, she's not Lee Jammer, though. North Brisbane have the opportunity to take the lead. Oh, they're probably going oh, to want to call it. But Lee Jammer called. Call it. Oh, the girls on the side are yelling at her. Lucky she got in front just enough time to call that. Good work by number 41 for North Brisbane. It's normally the, uh, the start of the, it's normally around this time they're all starting to figure each other out, figure out who's what, who hurts. Uh. I'm sure they've done a bit of reconnaissance to see um, how the other teams are playing already, but um, it's when they start to really settle in to each other's playing styles. It's when you really feel it, I reckon, <laughs> up against the side of you when it really hits hard. You go, yep, no, I understand. I'm going to maybe dodge yeah. that one a bit harder. That's what I mean. We've got Bam Bam Bilal from Adelaide, number 29, up against number 505, Brandy Snaps from uh, Northern Brisbane Rollers. I tell you what, with the Adelaide pivot in the, in the penalty box, you certainly can't see it as the North Brisbane Royal Jam is still struggling to get through. It's Bam Bam Bilal though with the lead jammer position. She uh, is one of our strongest skaters. Really well known for just uh, racking up lots of points in a jam. Uh, she's definitely not being uh, stopped by any kind of defense here. She's being held back a little bit. Oh, not to her feet, but she's getting straight back up. The method at the moment seems to be just ram into the back of them and hope for the best. Yeah, look, it's, a, it's the uh, Play-Doh sort of uh, situation when they just push the Play-Doh into the goal and they hope something gets around the side. It's jam situation with Bam Bam Belial doing her best for the Adelaide. It looks like some more points on the board for Adelaide. We have lost again the lead. We've lost the jammer from MBR into the penalty box. It's They're not going to be happy about this. They're going to just want to keep that jammer on there. But she does not have a happy face either. No, she doesn't. She's got kind of like an oh no face on. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble when I go back to yeah. the team. Yeah. I'm really... I'm, not, I'm going to ground it for a week. Not I'm feeling a bit upset with myself that it's happened. Yeah, I'm going to feel like shit. I mean, bad. <laughs> subtle, mate. Subtle. No one heard a thing. No it's okay. Uh, complaints can be sent to dump trucks. <laughs> Lucky this isn't live. As we turn back to the action, Adelaide is just racking up the points here with no jammer to put any on the board for North Brisbane. And she calls it. Great defense here by the Adelaides. Okay, so we've got the field star, number 88, lining up uh, for the Adelaides. Number 88. Timeout being called by North Brisbane. 
to the northern uh, Brisbane who rollers. And the first time. To take this opportunity to uh, give you guys a bit of a heads up. If you're, in, uh, if you're enjoying today's coverage of TGSS on DNN, please consider contributing the support to this community broadcast. Lots of exciting Australia-themed uh, premium items for all contributors. Go to DNN homepage or the TGSS live page on DNN and hit the contribute button to learn more. Every little bit you can spare helps us bring you Derby from around the globe. That's great to know, Miss. Um, and and TGSS and DNN. I mean, it's such a fantastic organisation. And I mean, I'm sure you guys love it. We can't actually make it to the bat. Love watching them live. So definitely a good to keep these guys in business and filming Royal Derby, which is what we all love. Indeed. I, I, that'd be pretty good I like this bit here on our, on our little sheet here. The tens and tens of commentators. I looked at this earlier and like, I don't think it's ever been described as tens of tens, but uh, I think there's about 20 maybe. So, but I mean, a lot of commentators have definitely come around from all around Australia. It's really, really interesting to watch. <laughs> All these colourful people from it, or everyone else's leaves come down and make a bit of show. It's probably been the, uh, out of all of the teams, the commentator team has spent the most time at the bar, which is a very dedicated effort. I like how they've even set up our little commentator chairs there for us and a drink. So whenever we do rock over there, there's no waiting in line or anything like that. <laughs> Straight to the shots. I feel like I'm in Cheers, one of the regular. <laughs> yeah, especially with um, Ted dancing behind the bar. It really makes it a very Cheers-like experience. Philistine oh, taking the front hit. Yes, he is. That, lucky that didn't connect. Lee Jammer not necessarily called yet. No. She has incurred herself. Amaya, she is not your Lee Jammer. Yeah, this so skating hard call. still though, and uh, yep, she calls it. And she is Northern Brisbane Jammer, fair call. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times. The Lee Jammer's got themselves a little minor on the way through, and uh, North Brisbane able to call it up for any points to score. Number 42, yeah, Trauma Junkie, uh, lining up, sorting out a cosy. Up against number 24. Oh, 24 and 42. Uh, we all oh, are just dyslexic, same number. Yeah, exactly. That's just what we've got, no dyslexic referees. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely can Reckon that might be a prerequisite. <laughs> just <laughs> can you count? Totally different game styles. <laughs> 24, just oh. riding on the outside. But copping just a big one from this northern Brisbane blocker. Not quite good enough. And the but she's slow. Once again, 24 getting up. North Brisbane Rollers still trying to get through the pack, unable to make the first pass. Thinning out a bit of block or a piece being sent to the uh, to the sin bin. A bit of nudgy nudgy going on there. Yeah, not even being subtle about it. Oh, big stack. Stumble, tripping. And five big points for that. There we go. So we're looking at uh, we're looking at the score at the moment. Adelaide is on 64 to MBR's 26. 13 minutes left in this period as uh, Fury is about to re-enter the uh, very thin pack. Yeah, look, that's a pretty, pretty decent margin, but um, oh, look, I've seen games come back bigger than that already at this um, at this TGSS, so that really doesn't indicate anything. I mean, ARD, 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 ARD so have definitely come up to a great start, but uh, definitely doesn't mean that North Brisbane can't come back. Still, it's still, yeah, it's not looking, not looking dire yet, absolutely. So here we go, we've got number 29, Bam Bam Bambalal against little G unit number 41 for NBR. Yep. <laughs> Posing for a quick photo there, Miss. Fantastic. Unfortunately, resulted in me licking the microphone, which got slightly awkward, but uh, we're moving on. Here we go. Oh, big hit. Bam goes down, pops back up. Noticing Adelaide taking the outside quite a lot um, in this game. She's taking the outside so much, she's popping into the sin bin. I think she's gone a bit too far, actually. <laughs> Swung it all the way around. Oh, my God. Bill G unit having to take a little, little, little seat, little seat. She's not going to spend long in that penalty box because the other jam is only in there for what, six seconds? So yep. here, comes, here she comes back. Oh, oh yeah. closer by the other two in the box. Bam fights her way through. She's uh, not Lee Jammer. Is anyone, no one's the Lee Jammer. We've got one minute and 17 seconds left on this clock and it's going to run out. We have a jammerless jam. So uh, it's all marmalade here. Okay. Oh, oh marmalade. Oh, going the Northern Brisbane Roller Jammer just so absolutely it gutsing seconds. it on the track. Oh, no. It's not the way you want to fall. No, no, you want to fall in nice and tight. 
So you don't get run over by anybody else. But she slips through this time. They seem to be working quite well with Norway German. We should just do it like this every time. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Bam Bam getting up on one foot, just copying an absolute solid block from those girls. Did she be a kicker? It's like, get out of my way, I'm coming through. The leading with the foot method, we've seen it a couple of times today. Yeah, the leading skate, they call it. Bones shaking, not shaking bones, but the knock over the forearm, she's sent to the penalty box. Yeah, and little G units. A little uh, G trying to fight her way through the pack with those Adelaide's. Adelaide has got some great defense. And they're certainly exercising it tonight. Bam Bam Balala about to enter the pack again. Looking like she's starting to feel it a little bit, though. Oh, well, these girls are playing hard, and it's going to take it out on them. But, I, I, look, I don't think that they're going to stop right until the final whistle is blown. I haven't seen a single team pull back at all. Every single team in this event has gone right to the final batter. Christy Demons, number 14 for the Northern Brisbane Rollers, up against number nine Kit Kat Crunch from the Adelaide's. And we got a 73 to Adelaide, a 34 to NBR. Yeah, so I think so a bit of a, a crowd favourite here. She is. Uh, it's, it's not even necessarily anything to do with her skating style. It's that she's got a good song. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Exactly. So, and that's all key to a good role with the skater. He's having a good song. Good song, good name. Yeah. Uh, solid, solid costuming decisions. Exactly. I mean, skills really don't come into it. Oh, you're just being silly uh, now, aren't you? Everyone's pretty much the same. So, uh, if you've got a good costume, and a nice name, so it just works out. Northern Brisbane uh, getting behind the girls. Kit Kat tries to push her way through. Block is not giving it up uh, an inch though. Uh, North Brisbane are not letting her through, I don't. Uh, no, oh, there she goes. Oh, nicely by the uh, Adelaide blocker just pushing the other three out of the way. Finding that window and sneaking on through that. Adelaide, Adelaide are really working as a team here and uh, focusing on all aspects of this game. Northern Brisbane uh, jammer is through. She's about a third of the track behind as uh, Kit Kat makes her way through the pack. Oh, oh, oh solid block. And that just goes to show that you don't need to smash them the hugest. All you've got to do is just wait for a tipping point and give her a nudge. <laughs> model it's a bone shaker model I think it's a that's, just, that's just science yeah. right there oh does strong. it a bit backwards and then cross it and that is the jam called well done a kick kat crunch more points for the ladies in red okay so now the score line's starting to look a little bit like it might be getting away from northern brisbane it is uh, 85 to adelaide's uh, NBR's 38. Yeah, and look, I don't want to be labelled as an optimist, but I still think it's anyone's game. <laughs> um, I, look, I'm not going to call it till it gets a little closer, maybe two minutes away from the end, but uh, look, it's still so you're, you're, you're basically just going to sit on the fence, hope for the best, yeah. and then choose favourites just well, as the decision. I don't want to pick until I'm pretty sure who's going to win. You know? I don't have that much money in my pocket. Fair enough, mate. Uh, we've got Brandy Stapps, number 505 for Northern Brisbane, up against the 88, the Philistine for the Adelaide's. That's right, a bit of oh. that. Brisbane trying to take advantage of the little window there. Can they get up and get Looking a little she, There she goes, she's through. Lee Jammer. Her way through the front. Oh, big block from the Northern Brisbane girls. Holding oh. Philistine up a bit. This is good, getting the Northern uh, Brisbane Jammer a little bit of space. Then about half a track on that Adelaide Jammer. They're going to probably want to jump in there, grab a few points and call it up. Who knows, though? Their tactics are way better than mine, so I'm going to pull out of that conversation. Still not calling it. Philistine's through, now she calls it. Four, Four points to the Adelaide's, though. That's, that's fantastic work by Philistine, converting that non lead jam scenario into a nice four points. So maybe, maybe your strategies are better. Uh, maybe they are. Um, and I've offered all of my tactics and strategies to all the teams today. Um, they have denied my uh, advice, and that's probably why they're winning. There we go, see? Trauma Junkie number 42 for NBR up against Sneaker Streaker number two from uh, the Adelaide's.
Oh, he's trying to smash her way through that pack. Oh, big solid block from one of the other ladies on number 42. Lead jammer to sneak a streaker. Yep, she is a big jammer. Strong skater. She's going to push her way through number 42. Trauma junkie. Trauma Junkie still fighting away. She's just gotten her way through the pack now as the pack reforms. About half a track behind. Adelaide Red blocking at the back. Adelaide Zero too. She is a strong, tough jammer. Sneaker streak is basically jammed by blocking. Yeah. I look, I love seeing blockers come up to the fray and take a crack because they're not easy to hit over. No. And they definitely put those big girls in there to to withstand the punishment of the uh, opposition blockers. Oh, Blue Renegade. Hanging out here. She's enjoying it. Maybe trying to trying to get her, her fourth minor so she can just pop off to the side. And, uh, Bend over, shaking a tail feather. Yeah. All the way to the end. I did. But Dave will appreciate that. Absolutely. Look like a poodle pr pr going on here. And she's there for the minor starting behind the uh, pack. Have a good think about your behaviour, Blue. Reset to a minor so she can come back into the clear conscience. Oh, solid work here. The blockers doing their best. Oh, uh, is that out of play? Who knows? No, it's not. She's now out of play. Don't block. Gateway, girl. Breakthrough. So we've got a lead jamming. Called by the ref. Oh, still trying to fight her way through the pack. North Brisbane got a free shot at the points here. Uh, okay, so we've got the jam from Northern Brisbane has now entered for some points. Ferry still not through. No, oh, there we go. Adelaide's punched through the front of the pack. North Brisbane squishing their way through. Oh! Right through those front two blockers. The defensive work of the ladies in red so is incredible. I haven't seen... She's got a lot of cool this way. Keeping, keeping an eye on the Adelaide girl, pulling it off and pushing on. No, just getting that one there on the end. Pulling it off, playing it safe as Fury Fenry approaches the back of the pack. I don't have points. That's the way to minimise that gap. So we've got uh, 41 to MBR to Adelaide's 93. It's, uh, you, you might be right, mate. The, uh, the comeback continues. Uh, I can feel it in my North Brisbane bones. Yeah. I'm not from North Brisbane, but my bones are. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. I'm just, I'm just going to leave you sit in that one just, I just for like a while. Comebacks, miss. Yeah. It's just like you can't, you can't resist a good comeback from the underdog, you know? Yeah. So we've got Bony Snaps number 505 from uh, Northern Brisbane, and she looks like she may have just rolled through, but no, it goes to uh, kick her crunch knee jammer, but it's very close. She's doing some defensive jamming. That's right. You see this crowd a lot when, the, when there's uh, one jammer with a bit of a lead. They're going to try and hold those points back and get jammer on jammer action. They talk about what favourite movie they like. And is there much like better than that? Uh -huh. Is there much? <laughs> anything better than some jammer on jammer? Oh, yeah. No, nothing better. Nothing better. Okay, so this pack is moving quite fast. They've formed. There's a big wall of red. just having a little bit of fun there. And called it. Rising up the crowd, Kit Kat Crunch. I saw some of Sun State's jammers actually turning around and going like head on chicken with some of the other jammers the other day. Oh, really? So it's, it, there's some great strategies going on, and jammer on jammer actions definitely. Where are the actions at? Facing up to it. We've got uh, number 88, the Philistine, up against number 41, little G unit. Both of these girls have jammed quite a bit this bout. They're very, very heavily used in both these two teams. And I'm sure they've, uh, sure they've gone up against each other quite a few times already in this game. Both of them go, the solid blocking from both teams. The girls fighting through, but it looks like it might be oh, on the outside. We've got Lil G in it, Northern Brisbane Rollers, Lee Jammer position. Great work from number 41 to break through and get Lee Jammer there. Philistine looks like she caught one in the face and was just making sure she didn't have a blood nose. Looks like she might actually. Philistine still hasn't made her first pass, but here it comes. The Philistine, I love saying it. Nice dodging there, great bridge work. Pat being she's she keeps grabbing her nose. I don't know if that means that... Uh, looks like she has caught one in the face and just making sure... Oh, she's just got the sniffles. I, uh, I didn't say she's actually bleeding there, but... Um, I think maybe it's some secret signal. Oh, you reckon that's what it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. We've been handed a note here to say there's almost 7,000 people tuned in from Australia, over 1,500 from New Zealand, and the last two days on DNN. So a massive shout out to all the amazing fans we got out there paying attention to DNN. It's so good to see people tuning in from all over the world.
Yeah, and locally. And locally. So DNN just wants to give you uh, you guys, your listeners out there, a big thank you for uh, for tuning in. You've uh, you've absolutely made this a fantastic tournament. Exactly. And, and I guarantee you that DNN appreciates every single one of you that watches today. You're all champions. Everyone's a winner here today. Except maybe the teams that don't except win. The, except the losers. Yeah, that's right. Awkward. Uh, but no, they've skated hard to get this far in the finals now. That's so, right. Yeah. And hopefully no one will lose us in their face regardless. That's well harsh. Yeah, totally. I've got to say there has been some potas. There's been some amazing, uh, I've got to say, the sportsmanship that's been shown this whole tournament just it's has been awesome quite... to see. And uh, look, I'm not too sure if, if it's the way Australians approach sport or if it's just roller derby, but there's been so many good things, even from people who win games going up to people who didn't quite win the games. Well, let's not call them losers. But the guy up to them and giving them advice, offering coaching, and it's been a really lovely atmosphere to be a part of. Indeed. Uh, Blue Renegade, 288 uh, for the Adelaide's and Trauma Junkie, number 42 for Northern Brisbane. I think that must mean she's addicted to trauma. <laughs> NBR, a little outnumbered on the but track. Come on, folks. Not that you're jumping in your back window stealing your TV. It's just because she wants more trauma. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to have worked. I think uh, I'm the Okay, the uh, Adelaide fans, uh, cheer squad, really just... Uh, going up the noise because there's two minutes and 59 seconds left in this half. And they're excited about their 40-point lead, 93 to 53. Time out. Looks like it's almost called. And uh, here we go. Uh, Adelaide dropping a knee, but shuffling forward. <laughs> forward. <laughs> the knee pads that have been going on through this weekend <laughs> for all this shuffling. Everybody shuffling. Oh, solid fall from the Adelaide the pack. Pivot doing some fantastic work on the front of pack. But it's, uh, it's number 42, it's Trauma Junkie. She's in the lead jammer position. More person wanting to put some more points on the board before we go into the second half. Still very much not in a position of superiority. They've got a bit of an edge. Only 40 points. 40 points in it is all right. That's right. A couple of power jams, that's it. Exactly, that's, that's one, two, the power jams. And uh, maybe, maybe a 50 or a night slip to the school judge. <laughs> Bam Bam Bilal uh, sitting in the penalty box having a think about her behaviour from uh, the other ladies. The penalty box is definitely a place for naughty derby girls. We've got a little G unit number 41. What a great no, name. Mm. Uh, I feel like little G unit. Up against Fury Delfinra. Mm. Uh, I find that one of the, the harder names to oh, yeah. say. And she is an Adelaide, so I have to say it quite a bit. Oh, yeah, and a big shout out to my normal co commentator down in Melbourne. Artie, I know you're watching, so this goes out to you. And uh, it's a shame we can't be up here to watch this, but fantastic game that we're watching now. And look at the defence. Nice Are you cheating there. on someone with me, mate? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I'm rubbing it in, yeah. yeah fair enough. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, so Northern Brisbane Rollers Jammer has been uh, sent to the sin bin yet again. There is a lot of sin bin action going on for the North Brisbane Roller Jammers. As Fury breaks through and gets that lead jammer position, the pack is reforming. Big wall red by, uh, at the back, followed by a big wall of black and blue. Yeah, that defense is definitely on the hearts and minds of these North Brisbane Roller Bells. Doing a good job too. Skating back, making a roll on back, getting behind that last jab blocker. The Adelaide is looking to uh, try and break up that solid wall at the front. Uh, Fury of Fenry still having a difficult time there with, oh, hell no. Oh. She has no, they've done a fantastic job of putting it back this far. And she calls it. <laughs> Turning maneuver there against Fury through for another five. Yeah. Okay, so we've again got Kit Kat Crunch for the uh, Adelaide's lining up. Yeah. Really trying to shut down the ladies in black and still uh, still hanging out in the uh, in the naughty corner. The uh, Northern Brisbane jammer. Um, Adelaide Black is taking that line superiority on that jammer line. pack advantage here. Missing, uh, missing one of their blockers from uh, Northern Brisbane as well, so it's it's not looking like the best situation. No, no, but um, they can still maintain and hold them off. Great little tooth there on the inside. Good work there by the North Brisbane pivot. Absolutely. That kick cut crunch too fast. Two jammers on the field now. 
One lap behind. Let's see how she goes. That Adelaide wall is looking pretty fierce. They're well uh, they're regimented. Yeah. And that, look, the communication between these two teams is great. The blocking is spot on. And, I mean, that's why we've got 98 to 57 scoreboard at the moment. Absolutely. Look how fast this pack is moving, though. And where is it? Yeah, the, the game calls out, but there's still 1 minute 90. That, that's half time. 98 to 57 at half time. 15 minutes on the half time clock. Miss. Informed, are you excited, Chief Intent? I certainly am, Miss Informed. The, uh, the comeback continues.